Okay, so in this video I'm going to explain what SSH is and how to use the software PuTTY and what is PuTTY. Now, it's basically very simple for some people, however, um, I've had quite a few people ask me this question, um, so I figured I'd just quickly cover this topic. So, what is SSH? SSH is a secure shell. Um, what I mean by that is on one side you could have a laptop or a PC or whatever you have, and the other side you have a Raspberry Pi or normally any Unix based operating system. And what we can do is between those two devices, we can open up an SSH tunnel. Now what that gives us is on the laptop, we will be able to view the command line interface from the Raspberry Pi, but actually be able to view it on another device, so our laptop in this example. Now what differentiates um, SSH from other connection um, types such as Telnet is the fact that it's an encrypted and it's a secure connection. Now, SSH, secure shell, is exactly the same as using a keyboard and a monitor. Okay, so if you plug your Raspberry Pi into your television or a, or a PC monitor and connect up a keyboard to it and start issuing commands, that is exactly the same as what you're doing via SSH. The only difference is, is you don't have to hijack the family's TV like I do, um, you can just use your laptop and connect into it. It's just an alternative method of using and accessing your Raspberry Pi. The only difference is, is because um, you are accessing it over SSH, you don't get access to the graphical user interface. You can only do that if you plug in via a monitor or if you use software such as VNC, which is remote desktop software. Okay, so what is PuTTY? PuTTY is essentially software. It's software that runs on Windows and it allows you to open up that um, SSH connection. So you can be downloaded from that link there, which I'll put in the description. Or you can just Google for uh, PuTTY and the first hit you'll get will be um, the PuTTY uh, site. Um, go to the download section and there you see the link for PuTTY.exe. Download that and run it. It doesn't need to be installed, just double click it and it will execute. And you get presented with this menu. What you need to do is type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi um, and ensure that you've selected uh, SSH and port 22, which is the TCP port that uh, uh, SSH uses and then click open and you'll be prompted with this window here which is your um, command line interface to your Raspberry Pi and this is exactly what you'll see if you connect up a keyboard and um, a monitor. Now many people complain to say that um, by me teaching how to do these tutorials using SSH I'm not teaching essentially Raspberry Pi or teaching Linux. Um, I am. Um, everything you do in these tutorials um, that I do via SSH are 100% transferable if you're using a keyboard, video and mouse. And anybody who says that I'm not doing them um, correct is 100% wrong. Um, everything is completely transferable. Um, so hopefully um, that's given you a little bit of insight into um, SSH and why it may be useful for you.